What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day in today's video we are going to be taking a look at first build of the MIUI 11 so this is a leaked build for the Redmi K20 Pro and if you are wondering why I am not showing it on a Redmi K20 Pro cause I do happen to have one I have just recently bought it if you follow me on Instagram you do already know cause I haven't actually announced it on this channel but Yep, I do have a Redmi K20 Pro, but if you don't already know, if you have a Xiaomi phone, you have to wait a certain period to unlock it. And as this is being a closed developer build, there were so many issues with this thing that a Xiaomi developers just plastered all the IMEA numbers. Well, I did actually manage it to boot it on my Redmi Note 7 Pro and my Galaxy S7 Edge, but they were just not stable at all to just review it to you guys. And then again, build on the Galaxy S7 Edge was actually mixed to S running Android 9. So it didn't actually have all the features that MOU 11 has to offer. So then again, we have a Redmi K20 Pro ported ROM on a OnePlus 6. Yeah. So this is a direct port of the Redmi K20 Pro, literally this phone running on the last gen phone. So again, we are going to compare some of the things which are actually added on the MOUI 11 because literally it just feels a redesign or just a reskinned version of a MOUI 10, which I literally reviewed last week, which would be one of the last builds of the MOUI 10. So MOUI 10 is actually suspended as feature wise, but for security patches and stuff, it's still going on. So if you receive latest September patch for your MIUI, for example, on my Redmi Note 4, currently I have 9.9.10, .9 which is even newer than this thing. It's actually MIUI 10, not MIUI 11. MIUI 11 has been right now pushed out for only Mi 9, Mi 8 and the K20 Pro or the Mi 90 Pro. So again, taking a look over here, pretty much looks the same. They don't give the newer launcher, which has the app drawer. I guess that's only reserved for the global markets. But over here, as you can see, pretty much your normal app drawer like iOS, but these icons. Now these icons really make me feel like a Vivo or a Oppo phone and I don't really love it but of course this is MIO you can always switch between themes for example I'm literally running Poco theme on the Redmi K20 Pro and the icons already look so much nicer than the stock theme that we get on the newer Xiaomi phones but then again not a huge fan of this it looks nice it looks newer but not at all professional so again going to the left you do have your normal app world again if you hit start over here this is the newer dialogues that you get you don't get like a boxy thing which is quite nice now that we have the rounded corners on almost all the phones so again you do get this allow one time allow all the time not just deny or agree so allow all the time there you go given the permission now you can just swipe like this to get all of your shortcuts then again you can swipe around for all the cards and then again if you're wondering how it's running so much nicer on the oneplus 6 again all thanks to the j proto dev nano one of the best developers he has guided me through so much of the things and then again if you just want to test out the gsi which is again based on the k20 pro you can do it yourself again links in the description for the gsi and the tools for it go ahead try it yourself pretty much it works great on the moto g5 plus asus zenfone max pro m1 reparted redmi note 4 or any other xiaomi phones so again, taking a look throughout the UI, it's good to begin with. It's already optimized and the newer betas of the MIUI 10 were so faster. So again, it's pretty much the same thing, just rethemed. And then again, now companies follow a two-year scheme of changing the UI. For example, One UI 1.0 and 2.0 would be same. Pretty much goes same for the iOS. We had the MIUI 8 and 9 the same. So again, just not to make it confusing, companies do do that. So going through again UI and stuff, you pretty much get a few new toggles over here. So for example, you do have reskin toggles but you do get dark mode ultra battery saver again some of the devices didn't actually have the screen recorder toggle over there then again you have cast and then pretty much it's over oh we do have me share car mode wow but then again it's only reserved for the china roms like the car mode and stuff just gets replaced by the android auto or just another competitors but then again going through the apps apps are pretty much the same just a newer theme again you have a brand new font over here looks like a bit older samsung font to be honest but it's much more easier on the eyes if you have too much text but then again apps just look same as before pretty much again as you can see everything is just the same wow it just jumped to the camera so going through the camera again as this is a k20 pro port there are actually quite more features over here so for example let me just grab my k20 pro right over here i don't know i haven't actually flashed the channel rom as my k20 pro is still locked but as you can see you do get a dynamic shot option right over here, which is a very handy feature. I don't know whether it works on the ported ROM or not. Let's just try. Oh wow, it really works. So again, you can just go back in time, few seconds to just capture your perfect moment. But yep, MI cam is pretty much fixed over here. You do get toggle for all the lenses over here. There is short video. Don't know what's new in this. It needs connection to the internet. So I guess they have added a lot of features over here. For example, there is some regular fast or super fast, which is not present over here, I guess. Yep. So again, you have beauty modes or these uh, things over here. Yep, it's quite new. Again, you have a music toggle up over there. Hmm, quite interesting. You have slow motion, 
wow it just crashed on the one plus six you have 1480p mode pretty much all the same stuff you have night mode but for the camera you are, you are pretty much getting the same stuff so going through the apps if you go to the security app now you have pretty much nothing over here because it's been now separated between security and utilities now it gets more confusing because all of the things have been just dumped right over here but you basically get your normal cleaners like wechat cleaner qq cleaner which are facebook and whatsapp cleaner in global markets but then again you have game speed booster game turbo like everything yep now this is quite the older version of the game turbo game turbo is a bit newer now you get solve problems, red envelope, which is like a beta testing program, battery saver and ultra battery saver. Now ultra battery saver is pretty much the same thing that we used to get in 2014 Samsung phones, which is basically completely closing everything in the background and even turning to the grayscale, but pretty much nothing. You do have color over here as the AMOLED panels newer ones are very efficient, but you do get very skin down version of MIUI, but you can actually use a bunch of the apps like camera. Yep. So yeah, if you want to quickly just record something and you are running out of battery, you of course have this option. But let me just close that. There you go. And pretty much all the features basically just stay the same, like data usage, battery saving and performance cleaner, everything is just the same. So directly hopping to the more apps, pretty much nothing. You do get services and feedback as this is a development ROM. You do have game speed booster games, pretty much all the China stuff that you already get. So now directly hopping onto the settings app, there you go, new icons and basically nothing. It's just new icons. So again, you get uh, signed into your MI account right over there. There says my device, all specs. There you go. You have latest version of MIUI 11, 9.9.9, .9 the only build. You have Android version 10. Yep. On the Redmi K20 Pro, here is the newer Easter egg. You have to just make a queue over here, just like that. It activates the Easter egg, which is just a nonogram. And it's one of the most confusing Easter eggs. You don't actually have it on the MIUI. But yep, security patch, the latest one, pretty much nothing over here. So we're directly going down to the ambient and lock screen, which is one of the major focuses right over here. But it's only available for the K20 Pro as it's a AMOLED phone. Because another AMOLED phones that we get in India is Mix 2 and MIA 3, which is not MIUI. So again, going down to the ambient display, yep, you do get text option over here. But again, it misses out on the simpler things like adjusting brightness or auto brightness for it, which is one of the things that I love about my Galaxy S10 Plus, but it's not this type of customization. So again, you can literally make it extremely fancy. So directly going to the select theme, you do get two new modes over here. So again, it is kaleidoscope or this text. So first of all, just taking a look at this text, you can pretty much type anything right over here. I guess they call it signature. And then again, you have text colors, which is pretty great. Gives like an Instagram feel to be honest. So again, you can align the text as much as you want. Then again, you have text size and bold font, like literally. I don't know why they wasted so much time over here, but yep, you do get that. And again, just look at it, how smoothly it just happens. Wow. Again, you can adjust the size of it. You have automatically changed color and you can just now directly apply it. Yep, it's that dead simple. Just wow. And the fact that it's working on the OnePlus 6 is just amazing. Again, if you want the tutorial on how to install MIUI 11 on your OnePlus 6, let me know in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends and family. That would be a lot of help. And this is the Kaleidoscope. Now you do get a lot of them over here. Like MIUI developers are going ham on it. They are just not kidding. Like giving one to two options. There are like almost eight different ones. Of course, now you can apply it and they actually change whenever you unlock or lock the phone. There you go. Just looks amazing. Now for some odd reason, it just doesn't pop up on the OnePlus 6 as this is, you know, there you go, as this is a ported ROM, but looks pretty nice. Again, on the lock screen, you pretty much get uh, no changes over here, but you do get this blur whenever you try to unlock, which I guess is a nice touch. So again, coming back, you have notification special effects. So again, this is a newer thing. You don't actually get this on the K20 Pro already. This is only for MIUIQ or the MIUI 11, but you do get these things, which do actually look pretty much great on the K20 Pro, as it's almost a bezel-less phone. So again, coming back, going to the display and stuff, pretty much nothing. You do get anti-flicker mode as this is AMOLED display. But if you go to the dark mode, now you have scheduling and you do get global force dark mode. So for example, apps like Instagram and stuff, which don't actually have a dark mode code built into it, it just injects. So again, if you just now visit any kind of app, so I guess security app doesn't have a dark mode. Now I can just directly enable global force it. And now if I go to the security app, it must actually just turn dark, but I guess on the stable versions, yup. It does actually partially work. So again, I guess some of the UI elements have been bugged off, but you do get a dark mode. Yeah, that's the main point, but you can actually schedule it, which is nice. 
but I don't recommend it. So going back, you have when devices in VR, full screen mode, notification and status bar, which are like full screen display options. So you won't get it on your Redmi Note 4 and stuff. So again, coming back, sounds and vibration. Again, it's a bit more realigned. Nothing new over here. You do get earphone modes and the additional settings right over here, not being into the advanced menu, which is pretty great. Like it was before into the additional settings right over here. But going to the home screen, you do not get app drawer. Yep, you have to actually use the separate one, like the leaked launchers, but pretty much everything is just the same. Then again, coming down to the password and security, pretty much the same battery and performance, again, just same as security app. But if you go to the apps, you don't actually get all the options that the Android 10 has to actually offer. So for example, if you go to manage apps, they are not all of the settings, like for the permissions and stuff, MIU has its own, which I don't actually regret, but some of the things like app-based location settings, I do really need it. So again, going to the additional settings, you don't have any kind of uh, ad droggle over here, which is actually removed. So that's only for the global markets, I guess, but pretty much nothing. So going down, you have MIAI, which is of no use into the global markets, but you do get it. And it's actually working on the OnePlus 6. You have screen time, which is a digital well-being replacement. And now the UI has been much more adjusted over here. So it's not cluttered. If you want to view detailed stats, it's much more easier. Again, coming back, you have special features and you do get quite a lot of them. Yep. So if you directly go to the MIUI lab, you have pretty much normal stuff like car mode, media center, which is this thing on the home screen. Yep. You get like a Google Now newsletter and stuff right over here. So directly going back, you have second space, kid space, front camera effects, which are for the K20 Pro, like different sounds and the LED. Just look at that bad boy. Yep. Then again, you have quick replays, which is just basically same as the auction OS. Opens up half of the screen. You have game turbo, tap plus, which is like a Chinese service. Then again, you have light mode, pretty much all the same stuff. And that's pretty much it for the MIULN. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like. Again, share this video with your friends and tech groups. It would be a lot of help. And if you want me to keep you guys updated with the builds for your phones, please subscribe down there and see you guys in the next one. Peace.